This is Mercy Us Tonight. I'm Donnie Bryant. Today, we only have two topics today, but as usual, I'm not alone. I am here with Jenny. How are you today, Jenny? Good, how are you, Donnie? Good, good. So why don't you start us off with the, the topics that we're talking about? Okay, so the first topic we'll be talking about is Olympic medalist Caster Semenya. I apologize if I butchered that. So she recently lost her case to be forced to have either because she has too many testosterone in her system, like naturally, she has to undergo taking hormone balance balance pills. That way, she can level her testosterone level. She has to. It says that she has to lower it by about five. I don't know the specific word, but like she has to lower her testosterone in order to be able to compete in women's sports. I'm not uh, a, a one to be within science, so I, I don't know much about you know scientifics and you know and genders and all that stuff. I, but I do know that. A lot of media, mass media, have been saying that she is a transgender. Now, why don't you clarify that? Because I know yeah. before we started filming, you said that she is actually not a transgender. That's correct. So, yeah, she's a cisgendered woman. So she was born as a female, and she identifies as a female. She is not transgender at all. She just has naturally, she has a natural high level of testosterone, which, I mean, it's common in other women, but, like, because testosterone is mainly known for men. So exactly. they believe that she was a, a transgender woman because, Oftentimes, when you're tra transitioning from female to male, you oh no, from male to female, you still have that high level of testosterone you have naturally, like your the, like your hormones already have when you're born. So one thing I want to say is that you know you you clarified that she's not a transgender. She's Correct. A, she's she actually, actually under once she won like the they made her undergo a gender verification test wow. to verify that she was a female and that's how she was born. That's horrible. It is. It's that's actually, terrible. It's disgusting. And, and, and what's even more disgusting is every single piece of mass media out there is involved running the story. They ran the story saying that she's a transgender and how she is not fit to run with the other women. She should run with the guys or Honestly, have a that's transgender what they said, division. That if, she doesn't, if she doesn't take her hormone balance level um, pills, that she, she, she either has to run with, trans, um, with men mm. or she has to run with intersex um, an intersex um, level, like the intersex teams, if there even is one. And this is a perfect example of credibility, mm -hmm. okay? When you jump the gun without following your sources, this makes you uncredible because most sources will come from you. Mm -hmm. And wherever you get your sources from, they'll also come from you. So it's like, as soon as one person says something, if you do not clarify it, and if you just it. go jump to the gun and just say, oh yeah, this, this is actually what's happening, and then it's not, that makes you not credible. Yeah. So Bleacher Report, uh, the Outer Sports, Fox News, Fox News um, you know, they, they will all not seem credible after she takes this so-called test and finds out that, you know, she's actually born a woman and that she, she really is a woman. Yeah, she already, she already took the test? Yeah, she already okay. took the test. Okay, so yeah, so when the test comes out for, for, this, for the media, when the test comes out for the it's media. Already, it, it came it, out already. It, yeah. already came out already? Yeah, she took okay. The, so she won her, she was in the track star, she did the 800. Yeah. After she won the report, like they were concerned that she wasn't, uh, she was transgendered. And so they made her take the gender verification test already, and they already proved that she was a woman. She's a cisgendered woman, and that she are, she has high levels of testosterone. And late, they said that the um, Swedish, I forgot the entire name, but it was like the highest level court for Olympics. So they made her say like they said that if she wants to continue to compete in women's sports track 800, then she has to take hormone balance level, um, hormone balance pills. And so lately, she still, so then because of that, she went to the courts and try to say like this is unfair this is unruly like it's racist because they didn't because the argument is that more, more sexist than racist well the argument is that because michael phelps he had low levels of lactic acid which makes you not as tired so okay. most people have like a normal level of lactic acid which makes them tired after doing sports for a certain amount of time and he had low levels of it and yet the people praised him because of that because he was able to be so like he did so well in the olympics so because right. He had lactic acid, like he didn't have as much lactic acid, so he wasn't as tired quickly. As, he didn't get as tired quickly. So people praise him for it because he did well, but while she did really well, but people are like coming at her because they're like, well, she has too, high, too much testosterone, that's why it's unfair, and it's an unfair disadvantage for everyone and, and else. And someone just says, so, oh, it's because she's a transgender, and then that just flew like Yes, yeah, so that's nothing. they try to use that as an excuse, but that's not the excuse. That's not the excuse. The excuse is she was probably not, there's not the even any excuse, it's yeah. just the fact that she was born with higher testosterone levels, yeah. maybe just as high as males, who knows how, how you know. And it's interesting because they say that there's, 
been no scientific fact proven that estrogen or testosterone makes you compete better in a certain certain sports either. So that's why, like, this is the issue that's, like, flabbergasting, I guess the best word I can think of. Yeah. There's no level, like, there's no scientific fact that proves that if you, whether you have high levels of estrogen or low levels of, low levels of estrogen or vice versa for testosterone, that you'll compete better or worse for some, than somebody else. It, there's no scientific fact proven that testosterone or like whatever hormones you have in your body changes how you perform in a sport. And speaking of facts, there are, and I want to give two credits to two sources. Credits to two sources, uh, ESPN and CNN. Mm -hmm. Because both of them held their horses. They held the water before releasing the stories, mm -hmm. okay? ESPN, uh, from what I saw on Google, they, they did not post a story. They even touched this topic because they knew something was up because they have reports and they have different sources stating that she's actually a woman. She actually is just with, you know, all these different attributes and they're just wasting her time. That's what they're doing. Yeah. The courts are wasting her time because she won the 800 and it was found out, you know, that she had higher testosterone levels. So they're like, oh, wait a minute. This is something that we can use. It's interesting because I don't, like, I wonder what pushed them to drop, drove them to like, let's test her hormone levels, of, like whether she has enough, enough estrogen or too much testosterone. Cause just cause she won, it made them like suspicious, which is unfair. Cause when Michael Phelps won, nobody was suspicious about anything. Like they didn't think about, oh, let's see why he won. Like let's test his ho hormone level. There was nothing that prov like provoked them, provoked them. It's because they didn't make it controversial, that's why. If you make something controversial, then it's gonna get all a bunch of hype. But if you don't touch it at all, then you know, of course, someone's gonna get you know praise and glory. And well, I think that, and I think that's partially why. Well, they never. There was never like a specific level. Like the Olympics never had a standard that women had to have this much amount of testosterone, like this little amount. Of no, testosterone. they never. They never. So could. this is why it's controversial and like unfair because before her, there was never anyone, ever any consideration or like thought like. If because a woman is good at a sport, then she that means she's like doing something that's unfair. Like she has a, dis, a higher advantage than other people. Like because she did so well, mm -hmm. they're like suspicious and they don't want to like they don't want to just accept that she just did well on her own. What yeah. she did because she's been practicing since she was younger. She even made a commercial with Nike where it showed like where she's like, is it only because I did? If I wasn't good enough, would this have been an issue? If I wasn't running in the Olympics if this had been an issue? No, it would have never been an issue because it's never been an issue before. I have a sister who does track and field and she's good enough that she'll probably go to the Olympics one day and I pray to God she does. And if someone were to say, oh, she can't run because she actually has this and this and then it just was just like, well, what's the point of even pointing this out? Like yeah. if they're doing it out of pure jealousy, I'd be heated. And I'm pretty sure, and I know that she's heated right now because she's going through a tough time mm -hmm. because here's a young black woman who worked her butt all the way up to the top and now someone's trying to take all that away from her yeah. because of jealousy, it's the same, pure jealousy. It's the same argument when they try to say Serena Williams who, because she did so, she's so great at I tennis. I saw that too, I and remember how they try that. To, yeah, they try to say like, oh, maybe because she's a man or like she probably is this and that. Like and they like, never no. just wanted to accept that she was good. She like was she just was good. just that great. Like she worked hard. She has a she husband, she yeah. has a kid. Like where did that come from? They just, because she was so great that they just didn't want to believe that naturally she's great at tennis. Like she worked hard all her life and she got to the place where she deserves. Can we just accept the fact that there are young, strong black women out there in America? Like, can we just can we just get that out of the way right now? Because there are strong black women in America. Like, I don't know what is it with people, especially just with women, but I'm gonna focus on black women. I don't know why some people just find it hard to believe that there are black women who can actually be really, really successful on their own without needing What's the stereotype? Usually you you can like, fill me in on that. Usually she's like, oh, she doesn't, she, if she's like really, like she works hard to do good, like whatever she's doing, because she does she can't find a man, like she only has there to focus on her job or whatever <laughs> she, her talent she's doing. It's also like, oh, she's probably too, like she scares off men too. Like they always revert it back to like her not being able to find a man or like not like equating like, or they'll like diminish her accomplishments compared to other men. And it's like, what does that have to do with anything? Yeah. This is professional sports. 
this has nothing to do with any personal, you know, relationships that she might or might not have or any personal attributes that she can or cannot get or whatever. This is a business. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you have to treat it like a business. Sports are a business. Okay. And if you're out there, you know, just jealous, making up a whole bunch of nonsense just to get a whole bunch of people, the fans riled up, to get courts riled up and just to, 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 you know, stop a person, give them even more obstacles than they already have as a young black woman in America, then shame on you. Mm -hmm. And as for the, all the sources that jumped the gun too early, they better lose a lot of credibility after this because they're going to look foolish after she, fi after she finally gets, I guess she, she has to get, you know, reinstated or something well, like that. Well, she has options. Like I said, she either has to take the hormone balance um, pills or she has to run an intersect. She has to run in. She can compete in male um, sports, male 800 meters, mm -hmm. or she can run an intersex sports if there's any even available. Well, what what happens if she just fights that and just say no? Listen, I want to retrial. I want to prove that I'm actually a woman, and I actually want to, you know, get. I want to run with the women. If we, if I have to. You know, I'll, I'll do whatever else I have to do, but I want to prove that I'm actually a woman. Well, she's proven that. She just has to take the level of like, pills, like hormone balances, to lower her testosterone. But what about the side effects? Because that's, yeah. that's another thing that some people don't look at. What are the side effects to these hormone pills? Yeah. Like, they could, they could seriously mess her up. They could make her sick. They could, they could hurt her more than they can help her. Yeah, I'm not sure. I and that's, the, and that's that. the thing. What if they really do hurt her more than, than help her? I'm just saying because we don't know what type of medicine that the courts are trying to make her take. Yes, they're hormone pills, but we don't know what's inside these pills yeah. that they're trying to make her take. You know, they could, they could, I, I, don't, I don't even want to imagine what these, what these pills could do to her. Yeah. But I'm just trying to say, like, if it, if it, if it, if the side effects are bad, it's going to look really bad. Mm -hmm. And I, and I pray to God that it doesn't go that, that route. But if it does, it's, it's. It's gonna be like we had an actual young black woman who was who's strong and worked her way up, and this is what we did to her, like yeah. all and because we were jealous and all because we just didn't want to believe that she was really good. Yeah, you and know? it also opens up the case to whether the transgendered issue, what transgendered individuals running in sports. So they're yeah. saying like, well, she has too much testosterone on her level. This is a natural thing, and when a person transitions, transitions, like they'll all, always, almost always have the, the same level of hormones unless they take like certain pills or whatever, but like, so if a woman who's a cisgendered woman who has natural testosterone, her natural levels of testosterone in her body can't run in the same, in the sports that she's like run for, mm -hmm. then what, well, when transgendered people want to like can start participating in sports, like what, what would they have to do? Like will it be an issue for male transitioning to female running in sports? Like. This, well, they have to take hormone balances as well. Like this is gonna, this is just an issue that's been like opens a whole, a bunch of issues, like other issues. I'm just very shocked that a lot of mass media out there are just paying attention to the wrong thing. Yeah. I've always stated that the purpose of broadcast journalism is to give the people a voice that they never had, especially those who have never had a voice before or or feel like that they're not being listened to. We should never use our media or our sources to attack a person, to personally attack a person. And I feel like that's what these sources did. I feel like that's what a lot of these platforms did because you're, you're, you're tearing down a person. This is a person's reputation and a yeah. career, a, pers a, a young woman's, a young black woman's dream that you are trying to destroy and crush and pretend like it didn't even exist. And you're gonna use your 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 media, your 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 voice, your your platform to destroy it. When you should actually be helping her, you should actually be talking to her and explain and, and getting her to explain like this is actually uh, a mistake. I'm actually, you know, I really am a woman, but this is what has been happening with my life and whatnot. Yeah, they should Why use it are to we like doing change this? the narrative to like encourage people to feel to want her want the olympics to change their ruling because she shouldn't be forced to be put in like three little sep categories either take hormone balances yeah run this intersex um, sports if there even is any like they're not even sure if, they're not sure if there is any intersex sports or run in the male um male sex section which is unfair because she shouldn't have to do like that's what she's been that you're always told like you have to run in the female category because you're a female and mm -hmm. this is what she's been training for she's just 
that good. She's just that good. Yeah. Yeah. I will say this: if if it will be interesting to to see her beat a bunch of males, though, it would be interesting. Yeah. It would know. be interesting. See, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know. If she's th like, she's good enough, like really good for the females, but. I'm not saying it's like to portray her down, but like her record, I don't know if it's yeah. good if it's enough for like a male's record. So like I'm just saying not all males, but her. some of the males. Yeah, but some it's just still lower her like her placement and how her time and everything. Cause yeah, she'd have to work harder, but she's been working hard for only like one like I don't know. I don't want to say it without te like by tearing her down, but like I no, say, no, like, go ahead. Yeah, but like I want to say like she's been work. She's work. She's done really well, and she does great for the female category. I don't want her to like tear her down by pushing her into the male's cat male category. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I just I just think it'd be interesting. But I will admit, you did go Stephen A. Smith on us there without <laughs> uh, without with the whole track thing. I mean, I have yeah. to admit, I'm impressed. Thanks. I'm impressed.